Welcome to La Taberna de Miguel. This channel, this YouTube channel, generally is in uh, Finnish or in Spanish. Uh, but today I have decided to make this video in English. And I know that probably this is not the best of the English that is spoken in YouTube, but in any case, uh, I think you can uh, understand what I'm going to say. I hope anyway. So, here we have, uh, by the way, uh, this La Taberna de Miguel, this channel, is in Finland, in Finland, and I am from Venezuela. So, um, my mother tongue is Spanish, and the second language that I use the most is Finnish, not English. So, well, anyway. So, uh, here you have four uh, objects that you find in any Finnish household, in any Finnish home, you find these objects, this, this, object number one, object number two, this is the third item, and this bag over here, so this, let's see what they are, so, these are scissors, as you can see, and these are made by a Finnish company named Fiskars, Fiskars is a very old company, you can Google, Google Fiskars, you see it written here. It's a very old company uh, that I see from the, I think, if I don't remember wrong, it's from the 17th century. It's actually a very old company. That is a, the, the company come from, the name of the company, Fiskars, come from the town where it all started. And the name of the town is Fiskars. It's a very small village, actually, <laughs> that is situated about 100 kilometers west of Helsinki. Fiskars, that's the name of the town, and is that the name of this company? And this company, they make these scissors, and these scissors, just like that, well, orange like this, and that, these, these scissors you find in every Finnish house, and it's no doubt, you can go, you can knock any door, knock, 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 say, hey, do you have a scissors? They will show you, and they have these scissors, uh, the scissors that are from Fiskars, and like that, orange and that. They make a lot of different products, by the way, even though I'm not advertising here Fiskars, it would be nice if they would pay me something for this, but in any case, you can Google this company, and this company is actually very, they make very many different products, especially for gardening, but not only gardening, and you can, uh, I'm quite sure that your own home country, you can find products uh, made by Fiskars. Um, the second product is this one. This one, this recipiente, hmm? this kind of uh, topperware, you see, this topperware, but it's not a topperware, this is Ortex, the company that makes this, Ortex. You find this in every Finnish house, there is no doubt about that. Probably, probably, I even would take the risk, I would say that there is, if these scissors you find in practically every Finnish house, this one, maybe, maybe there is a little chance, a little, little chance that this is even more common. But anyway, the main point here is that why this is for? Well, you know, if this is like a topperware, you know what a topperware is for, you know that. But in Finland, uh, I think people generally, when they see these and they use these, the main thing that they think that it is about is for is to freeze uh, to uh, uh, berries berries during the summer uh, we in Finland we we pick up different berries our forest is full of lovely berries that are very helpful for you uh, uh, recommended by the way or uh, strawberries for example and uh, you uh, pick them up during the summer, you eat a lot, many kilograms during the summer, but then you want to have some for the winter. And then you frozen, put them there, you put it in your um, um, freezer, and you, uh, it's very typical, is that when you go to your grandmother's place, in the grandmother, the grandmother, then uh, she, in the, in the Christmas, for example, that is coming soon, by the way, you have all these, Fini these typical Finnish uh, food for Christmas, typical things. We will have a video about that. But then she will surprise you with something from the summer. And that from the summer is those berries that they will pick up in uh, during the summer and uh, uh, preserve frozen. Uh, this Ortex, this thing, this box, this recipiente, 
you find in every household in Finland. This third one is this, and this is a bit of a funny thing. You see this bucket, this, this? Well, in Venezuela, that's where I'm from, as I think I told you, we like to pay with drums with it, but the reality is that this is, you find also in every Finnish house, uh, by the way, these objects that I have decided that they are the most common, it's not, it's my decision that they, they are, I mean, to show you these four, but actually there was a, um, a survey made by this magazine, you see the name of this magazine, and these were among the most common products in any Finnish house. So, this bucket, this plastic, is made also by Ortex, the same company that made this. The same company. Google that company, by the way, also. Um, uh, this, uh, in Finland, there's a kind of a bit funny uh, thing that, that Finnish people, Finnish habits. You know, when you, when in Finland, uh, very often, when they open a new shop, a new shop, when it's, a new shop is open, uh, in order to have the promotion of this shop, uh, the first day, you know, and then they open and then there are the customers and everybody waiting, you know, to get to this new shop. And, uh, and one of the typical presents that people get when they go to this opening is these plastic buckets <laughs> with the logo of the company. Maybe, maybe there is some goods inside the bucket, not very, sometimes it's just empty. And people are very happy going to this, this new shop, they buy something and that, and they get as a present this a bucket, a plastic bucket, and they walk happily home. Well, this is very typical in Finland, and in every house you find this. There are many other reasons, not only that, but, uh, but this is, you know, this is, and not only that, you only find one, you find 10 of them, of course. And the last one is actually not from Finland, but it's from another country that you know very well, that is Sweden. And this country, Sweden, there is a company that you also know very well, that the name is Ikea. Ikea, that actually in Swedish uh, is not pronounced like you do in English. You pronounce you better, you can do it like we do in Spanish, that is Ikea. Or even in Finnish, also we say Ikea. But uh, in Swedish, this K is a little bit more like in English, but this whole, this is pronounced uh, like Ikea, 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 this Ikea, Ikea. Um, well, we are not talking about Ikea, we are talking about the bag. And this bag that is from Ikea, that is in every Finnish house, and I would say, in any other country, Nordic country, you will find this bag in, in Sweden, in Norway, in any place in Denmark, you always find these bags in any house, in any house. And why? Well, because it's very useful. <laughs> That's a simple reason why it is. Uh, for example, here in my, in my family, here in Finland, uh, the most common use for these bags is first, uh, when you go shopping, when you, well, when you go, to, not shopping, when you go to the, to buy some goods, some food, and of course you have your own bag with you, and this is where you use. But in, in my house, when I see this the most is when my wife takes some things that are going to be that that they're going to be uh, you're going to take to my mother-in-law, to her mother, and uh, generally there are clothes and things that they are going to you know to do something to wash them and that, and they are. You know, they, they go from one house to another. Well, this is, this is actually the means of transport, this plastic bag, this bag, this bag. And this bag is also found in every single house in Finland. And it looks exactly like that, blue like that. That's how it is, this bag. So these are the four products. This is actually, if you come to Finland, if you come to Finland, these are, you're going to find in every house. These scissors, fiskers, this little uh, kind of Tupperware recipient of um, made out of plastic of Ortex, the company, this bucket, Ortex as well, and the IKEA bag. So this was what I, this is what I had to say to you today. Uh, 
uh, if you find uh, this channel interesting, <laughs> I don't know if this was very interesting, but in any case, it was about general things about Finland. Uh, please su subscribe to this channel and recommend it. In this channel also we have uh, Finnish uh, courses for Spanish speakers. If your language is Spanish and you want to learn Finnish, here we have some introductions to Finnish language. And, uh, and in Spanish there are many uh, videos related to Latin American and Spanish culture and also to intercultural communication. These are the subjects. My name is Miguel Lopez. Uh, put a like there in this um, video if you like it. And if you don't like, just, you know, you just pretend that you like it and you put still a like. See you and hasta la próxima. Adios.